So this morning I was watching a video by Rob Smith on the topic of gathering and uh, it started me thinking about uh, the charge the Church of Christ has to uh, be seeking for the establishment of Zion and uh, specifically in the LDS Church uh, the members covenant to live the law of consecration specifically they uh, covenant to consecrate all their time talents and everything for, with which the Lord has blessed them or with which he may bless them to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for the building up of the kingdom of God for the establishment of Zion which uh, so so the idea is, is is everything you have everything you are ultimately belongs to the church and why does it belong for the church? Because the church is going to use you and the stuff you've got to build the kingdom of God and to establish Zion. And so, this begs the question, um, what is the LDS church doing to actually accomplish this? Last I checked, the church has about 17 million members. They've got, uh, they're, they're worth well over $100 billion. They've got crazy amounts of real estate. And uh, they're supposed to be led by prophets and apostles, seers, revelators, all that. They're supposed to have the high priesthood, the fullness of the priesthood, all priests and keys. They've got all this stuff. And uh, if they wanted to actually establish a Zion, a place where God dwells, a place where they dwell apart, you would think that out of 17 million members, they could at least scratch, scratch together a few hundred or a few thousand people who actually qualify for that, right? I mean, 17 million people, they've got to have... Uh, you know, you, you would think all these righteous people, they'd have maybe, you know, four or 5,000 people at least who are super righteous, have repented of their sins, have faith in Christ, and could establish Zion. And you would think that with a portfolio worth well over $100 billion, they could go buy an island somewhere or uh, buy, a bunch, buy up a bunch of real estate, establish a county, like what Rob was talking about, and uh, get this ball rolling. And, uh, you know, we keep on hearing about them acquiring crazy amounts of real estate um, and doing all these business ventures and talking about, uh, um, three, uh, about, uh, um, building up Israel and whatnot, but so far there is absolutely no mention at all of any kind of plan whatsoever to establish Zion. So this begs the question uh, as to why any member of the church would be consecrating anything to the church, considering the fact that there is nothing being done at all for the, for the establishment of the building up of Zion. And then, uh, additionally, if you look at the tithing of the church, which, uh, according to uh, LDS scriptures, tithing is supposed to be used primarily to help the poor. If you do the math on what they take in and what actually goes towards charitable contributions, at the very best, uh, 1%, maybe 1% of uh, what they bring in with tithing, not to even mention fast offerings, goes towards uh, charitable causes. And so, you got to connect the dots. You got to do the math. We got to think through this stuff and ask ourselves, what is going on? What is going on here?